Okay, so you're on the carnivore diet, and things have been going good, and then all of a sudden you stop losing weight, you hit a plateau, or you just never lost weight to start with. So let's talk about some reasons why that may be going on. So stay tuned in the end, and you can see a way to gauge if you're gaining or losing body fat. The first reason to discuss is, you know, I, I know some people get mad about this, is that you may just be eating too much. I mean, calories still have an impact on you, even on a carnivore diet. And uh, particularly if you've lost some weight, we know that people that have bigger bodies, you know, as they lose weight, they require less food. It's, it's as simple as the difference between feeding a Great Dane and a Chihuahua. As you drop weight, your requirements for food go down. That's, that's just a simple reality. So sometimes, you know, you may not be able to continue to eat the same amount at 200 pounds, as you can do at 180 pounds. So just be mindful of that. Now, inflammation can be another reason. Now, we know that obesity is driven by inflammation and inflammation drives obesity. We have a lot of studies that show that inflammation can promote weight gain. Now, inflammation can be certainly caused by eating the wrong types of foods, which many of us prior to a carnivore diet definitely have experienced. But also remember that stress can lead to uh, elevations in inflammatory uh, cytokines, elevations in cortisol. So this can be part of the issue as well. Uh, fluid retention can be another reason. Now, a lot of people, when they start a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet, uh, you might find that you have to use more salt to keep up with some of the fluid losses that occur as you're transitioning through. Now, uh, that's because carbohydrates drive increased insulin uh, production and increased insulin acts on the kidneys to have you retain more salt and then consequently water because of that. Now, this is something that diabetics will encounter when they first start on insulin. They'll tend to re re retain fluid for the same uh, same reason. So when you're new to a carnivore diet, you may be pounding the salt, but you might not have to dial back on that a little bit. So, you know, if you look down and you got a little bit of excess fluid around the ankles, uh, you know, feet, and you, you can kind of assess that pretty easily. That may be a cause of why you're retaining water. If you got a little bit in your feet, you got a lot of it in the rest of your body. So it may just be excess water weight. So that's something to think about. Gut microbiome might also have an impact in here. Now it's thought that the gut microbiome normally helps you to lose weight when you switch to a ketogenic diet. Uh, stress, again, can alter the gut microbiome, and this can prevent weight loss. Remember, um, our microbiome actually participates in some of our food digestion. Now, these changes can promote inflammation and then subsequently things like depression. Now, there can also be a hormonal component for not losing weight. Uh, thyroid hormones, having a good thyroid level of T3 and T4 is often associated with uh, loss of more weight. Uh, estrogen deficiency, which often occurs during menopause, uh, estrogen does have a large influence on uh, fat deposition, so obesity is often triggered after menopause due to a relative estrogen deficiency. Um, replacing low estrogen with a hormone replacement therapy can restore weight loss in menopausal women and also improves insulin uh, sensitivity. Now, testosterone is also has a role on uh, our, our weight, and testosterone levels can be improved by being in ketosis, According to some studies for men, uh, sometimes testosterone therapy has been proven to, to uh, result in weight loss. So it may be something worth checking if you're not losing weight. Testosterone is also important for women though. So low levels of testosterone in women can also lead to uh, weight gain and loss of libido. Activity levels, we know that protein can drive something called NEAT or non exercise activity thermogenesis. This is the energy that your body is using when you're not exercising, but just living uh, the rest of your life, like waving your arms out, like what I'm doing right now, or fidgeting, right? So eating more protein has been associated with increasing something called NEAT. So it may be you might have to shift your macronutrients to eat a little bit more protein. Uh, just moving uh, a little bit more every day will increase the amount of energy your body burns. Um, this can be as much as just walking around or, or using a standing desk like I'm doing right now. Just by standing and avoiding sedentary behavior, you can make a huge impact on your overall uh, body composition. Now, eating too much fat, yes, can be an issue. I know uh, carnivore diets and ketogenic diets, people are very uh, fond of fat. There can be a point where you can overconsume that. And sometimes just focusing on protein a little more can be beneficial. And I understand that some people prefer a higher fat approach for various uh, conditions and reasons, but at the end of the day, many people are often overconsuming fat. You know, body composition can also sort of explain a weight loss plateau. Remember, muscle is heavier than fat, and so your weight may be the same or even going up, 
but you might be actually losing uh, body fat. I think it's pretty easy to see this from buoyancy and water. Fat people tend to float and muscular people tend to sink. So it's one, I guess, one advantage of being fat. You may float around a little bit longer if you get knocked off a boat. Now, if you do this test, it's important to exhale before you hold your breath because also air will float. Uh, so there are several reasons why you might not be losing weight on the carnivore diet. Uh, if you'd like to understand why an all meat diet works so well for human beings, check out this video over here that I did. Calories are not the only thing, but they are something we have to be mindful of. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.